going back to Social Club. We're after handing it down to the to them to them Southerners. We're back. We're back here. Hey, hey. Oh, I know you were there. Wasn't you? <laughs> I, I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to watch it. It was like someone sent me a video of my wife having <laughs> sex with another man. It was a bit weird. Um, but anyway, we're here back in its rightful place. We're going to start off this week by discussing Mario Balotelli. Um, he's back in England. He's back in training with Liverpool, and he's claimed that he is going to win the Ballon d'Or. Not maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but at some point. Um, you know what, Ped? Go on. I haven't then. spoken to you in a while. That's. Just bollocks, that surely. Yeah, it's, of course it's bollocks. Um, <laughs> he'd have to move club first, wouldn't he, to achieve any kind of of his aspirations in football. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, interesting comments. I've seen him back in pre-season. He's obviously back over here after scoring what one goal was it for Milan last season. Um, listen, there's a player in there. This time four years ago, he was whipping her up, wasn't he, in the Euros. Um but, you know, four years is a hell of a long time in football. And it's interesting that his comments basically said, well, it's it's me, isn't it? I couldn't really be asked being a 10 out of 10. I decided to be a 5 out of 10. Well, do you want me to read? Shall I read the quote? He said, my view, there weren't enough expectations on him as I can do so much more than what I said, but it takes time. On a scale of 0 to 10, I stopped at 5, but I'll get to 10 eventually. I want to get there. I will win the Ballon d'Or. I do realise that I spent two years of my career when I could have been getting close to 10 and instead stayed at 5. I know Ballon d'Or might seem laughable, yeah, and I might not have done everything to be the best, but the important thing is is I realised it's not too late. So he basically, the most important, I mean, that is the most important thing sometimes, I think isn't it? Him giving himself that? a 5 out of 10 <coughs> is like giving England like an 8 out of 10 for the Euros. <laughs> or a 10 out of 10. I mean, 5, I don't know where he's got that from. Even in the Euros, he did all right. He scored a few goals. But, I mean, at City, I always thought he was he was dog shit. I thought he was just a luxury player to have on the bench. They loved him, though, City. Rob. Yeah, but it was just the, the stupid stuff, like the fireworks, wasn't it? And they I could think afford they loved to have him as a fourth striker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the Ballon d'Or, that's, yeah, that's not happening, is it? Do you reckon? Are you going to fall into the same old, what Ped's just done there, the old cliche, but there's a player there? Or oh, if he oh, just oh, applies, oh, oh, he gets the right manager. I don't know if he gets the right manager. He, um, Mourinho said he was untrainable, didn't he? he said <laughs> unmanageable was the word. Um, he's multi-talented. He's got it. And it really, you yeah, know, even set off fireworks and ride a scooter at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even though, even though, um, he doesn't play for my team, but it does, like, it really frustrates me to see somebody who's got so much talent, right, and just just waste it. Yeah. It just, you know, it reminds me of when I was in the music business, right, I had a friend just like him, right, who had, he was he was just the best. He was just natural. He didn't have to work on it. Yeah. It was just blam, right? But, like, he'd have an audition for something. He'd be there smoking weed, right, and not wake up for it or something like that. <laughs> and it, this is what Balotelli reminds me of. He's just got no, he's just... I don't know. He, he's got it. Yeah. He mm-hmm. could be. I don't know about Ballon d'Or, but he could be a top top player. It, we say, we've but, seen over the years, haven't we? Seen these 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 players, and they've got like the physical attributes. Mm. Look, he's a big lad. He's you know he, he's well built. He's not he's not lightning quick, but he's got pace. He's good in the air. His touch is good. He's good with both feet. But mm. it, it can take a free kick, but it's all theoretical. You don't but see that, it on a but consistent you know what? basis. That's why I rate Ronaldo, right? I know a lot of people hate Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. That's why I actually I'm a really big fan of his because he's got the talent, but he doesn't just rest on that and say, oh, well, I, uh, I'm Ronaldo, I've got the talent. He works and works and works. And then you've got Balotelli, who's the complete opposite, got the talent but no work, yeah. and just relies on his raw talent. That kind of gets him through. Yeah, so he can't even be asked learning how to put on a bib. That's how lazy he is. <laughs> it's interesting though that he's can't be bothered. It's interesting that he's recognised this though. Yeah. Rather yeah. than someone else. I don't think know what I mean. He's coming back. He wants a new club. It's easy to yeah. say, of course yeah. it is. But I, like you were saying there about a manager, I don't think any manager could get it out of him. It's, no. it's up to him to get it out of himself. Do you remember when um, it was probably like World Cup 2006 and Stan Collymore came out and said, Listen, I've been watching that World Cup and I thought I could do a bit better than that. So I'm going to get myself fit again. I'm going to have one more go. And there was all pictures of him uh, training like the Spanish Hills and all that. And he was running. Rocky. And then, yeah, like literally Rocky <laughs> style. And then nothing. You know, and all yeah. of a sudden he was in broadcasting because it, it, it's, it's good. You're right. It's one thing to recognise that mm. you're at fault. There's another thing to be able to change mm. your ways and almost change the core of your personality to be able to focus. And, you know, at the minute Balotelli has been and, and still is that guy who doesn't take training that seriously. How, how old is he now? 25, which is the travesty of it. Like. He's still got, so, you know, he could 
He could. In theory, you know, but... Don't be... Don't be like like you, you said, it's up to him. This is, it's, you know, talk is cheap, isn't it? I mm. showed him play in, uh, I think it was Gerrard's testimony or charity game mm. a couple of years ago. And um, he was phenomenal in that because no one was trying to tackle him. There was no patient <laughs> Which always helps. Him. Well, exactly. And it was like, I think it was like him and Didier Drogba playing and they were both incredible. But he just strolling around, I'd say you slotting it. I'd say you how yards. bad he is. Not even anyone from China has tried to buy him. <laughs> <laughs> that's how bad Balotelli's been. I mean, that's got to be the dream for him now, hasn't it? China. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that, that would be my dream. Would that you have him at Everton? No. No. Arsenal? He would as well. Oh, oh this is no, a no, 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 The thing is, all as that. He's not on the no, 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 TV. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's thinking of the videos. No, he's no, thinking listen, of the after match. Listen, as I said, I probably wouldn't, but I'd, you know what? You'd, you see the talent he's got, and you just think, no, you if don't, only. I can trust you. If you only. You do not but, see that talent when he's your yeah, player. But I, no, I don't think I'd have him. Because, again, it's not even just he then he's misses up everybody show. else around yeah, him as well, doesn't he? It's a side show. It's, it's a shame. What, it's about, a what, shame. About, what about it at your club, Dean? At my m imaginary club? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I no. wouldn't. And even watching... It, you know, he's got. If you put highlights reel together, fine. He's got some amazing goals, but you also could put together the shots that are going. I mean, mm. not even on off target, yeah. wildly off target. Yeah. And he just. I remember just shots seeing him at any any club he's been at, and he's Man City. He's just punting shots. You know, high wide and it handsome. And the worst thing is though, I love. You know, you watch Italy in the tournament. You can under, you can fully understand why Conte wouldn't go anywhere near oh, him. Not yeah. a chance. But yeah. If he was English, he would do. We, yeah, would, we, would, have found a, we would have found a place for him, wouldn't we? We would have got. Oh, you've, got you've got to take it. Yeah. Player looking at all the shit, all the shirt sales. Yeah. And a little more than makeup for the loss. <laughs> <laughs> you got to find space. We, I, could, I think he might be able to play left back. Play I don't know much about football, <laughs> but I know that Balotelli will sell lots of shirts. So get him to the get him to the World Cup. Get yeah. a headrest for the plane. <laughs> But it is, you know, this is Balotelli over and the thing is, he keeps coming back up, and we, we'll do it because ultimately people want to talk about him and people want to see him. He's an succeed. enigma. That's he is why. an enigma. He's also a massive bell end. So you know, <laughs> I, I mean, but most enigmas are. So there you <laughs> go. How many, yeah. how many? How many chances has he had? Inter Milan, Liverpool, Man City, AC Milan. These are big One clubs. One day he'll find a big club that won't. <laughs> But, but you know, you know what I mean, though. He's, he's yeah. Chance after I chance. Thought, after I, I genuinely thought when he went to AC the first time, and he and he, he had a little patch where he, he looked, he had a, a bit more of a sensible haircut, and he looked like he was really working for the team. Like that is club, isn't it? AC by all accounts, yeah. that's, his, that's yeah. his team. And um, I thought, yeah, this will be it. And, and I think that might have been what led up to him a, a decent run of form. But can't ma can't maintain it. And then you look at him, and, and everyone's the problem is Liverpool in this position now, where people are going, oh, but Klopp, mm, yeah. Klopp. Klopp will get something out of it. If Klopp's, got, Klopp's not soft, he must look at him and go, nah, you're all right. You, what's, will, what's, what's you say we'll never be on a Nivea advert. <laughs> <laughs> He's like that guy, I was trying, I'm sitting here, I'm trying to remember his name. That guy was at Man United, He's, then went to West Ham. Oh, then, Ravel Morrison. Lati Ravel yeah. Morrison, yeah, Lazio. Again, another guy just like Balotelli. Yeah, just. Super talented. Yeah. And just completely wasted his whole career. Yeah, it's a shame. But should uh, probably be playing. Should probably been playing for England at the Euros. That good. Yeah. And it's just completely. Oh, yeah. Jermaine Pennant was another one. We had him at Arsenal. He was, I remember mm -hmm. guys saying to me, even before he sort of, uh, you know, I remember seeing him playing a couple of games. I'm thinking, wow. And guys saying to me, hey, Robbie, you know, we've heard some things about that guy, man. <laughs> yeah, Arsenal, they ship him out as soon as. He was Bentley. Like, he was all right for us. Bentley yeah, as Bentley, well. Yeah. Another one at Arsenal. Yeah, there's there's loads, there. isn't it? And it's just really. It's <laughs> the really, list. It is upsetting. It's a cartoon, though, yeah. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is upsetting, though, when somebody, I don't know, I just, you know, when someone has so much talent and they just waste it, I really. And still earn loads of money, yeah. the bastards. <laughs> I'd just it'd be interested to know people watching at home. In fact, we'll add, we'll, we'll add a card into the corner of the screen, get a little bit of a, a poll from yourselves. Do you think Balotelli has still got a, a career at a Premier League level left in him? I, I, no, is the obvious answer. West Ham but, would, would, would <laughs> love it. We, they we, would. We're trying to get rid of Benteke as well. You know, I mean, there's only so many of our players we can palm off to West Ham in one go. Crystal Palace, <laughs> Palace, Palace. Yeah, they seem to be uh, chucking it round. Yeah. Send him down to West Brom, man. Tony Pulis, get hold of him. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ricky Lambert, the precious. Uh, to reform that dynamite partnership that they had with us. He'd make a hell of a wall, though, wouldn't he? For a you know, hell of a wall. Yeah. But, yeah, let's know. Because, I, I, I still see it. I still see people asking me the question on Twitter and in the streets. Mm. In the, the streets. streets. People saying that, you know, what, what if Balotelli, what if 
this. Mark my words, he'll score 30 yeah. goals. No. I used to say this every summer about Andy van der Meijden. <laughs> Did you hear? Did you hear? Just seen him doing donuts in a car park. <laughs> <laughs> no, I promise you, it's his year. <laughs> so yeah, there's any thoughts on Balotelli voting the corner of the screen and check out the rest of Social Club on the Boss YouTube channel.